And it's Ken Kratzer for Sons of American Legion Radio, RallyPoint.com in White Plains, New York, at the commemoration of the 1776 Battle of White Plains. I have a chance to talk with the president of the White Plains Historical Society. That is John Vorbarian. And, John, good to see you. Uh, you had a great ceremony today. Tell us a little bit about it. Oh, it was a wonderful ceremony, uh, Ken. We had uh, a, about over 250 people came today to just uh, take a moment and look back at October of 1776 and the sacrifices made by the men and women who uh, fought the crown here in White Plains. And eventually, the uh, colonials won the American Revolution. The, the battle is really... Um, it shows the brilliance of Washington's uh, military uh, acumen. Uh, I mean, he was going up against uh, the strongest armed force in the globe at that time, and uh, he was able to engage the British in the sense of a strategic withdrawal, uh, pulling out of New York City, coming here to White Plains, and then eventually uh, being able to get the Brits over to Jersey, where he uh, successfully took them on. And uh, we, we here in White Plains just uh, want to think about some of those men and women with the White Plains m militia. Today we had uh, a direct descendant of the Jacob Purdy House, uh, Professor Alan Hartman, uh, read the role of honor, uh, naming those uh, individuals. And uh, it also brings together a number of other aficionados of the American Revolution, amateur historians, as well as other descendants who participated in the Battle of White Plains. Today we had three brothers, uh, Brian Gray, Bob Gray, and Barry Gray. They, uh, two of them hail from Erie, Pennsylvania, uh, one hails from uh, Northern Virginia, and they made a special trip here today to uh, recognize their great, great descendant, uh, Eliza Beckwith. Now, he didn't fight with the White Plains militia. Eliza Beckwith was killed in action in the Battle of White Plains, and he was fighting with Chester's Brigade, a Connecticut uh, troop. Very good, and you had a number of area uh, dignitaries here. Uh, tell us about some of the guests that you had. Uh, yes, we had uh, Westchester County Executive George Latimer was present, uh, a, a good friend of uh, historic preservation. In fact, uh, under his administration, uh, the Miller House uh, will be um, uh, renovated. Uh, additionally, uh, the another good friend of the White Plains Historical Society and, again, of history, uh, the mayor of White Plains, Tom Roach, was present, and then a former board member of the Historical Society, who now uh, sits in Albany in the State Assembly. Uh, Assemblyman David Buckwald was here, City Councilwoman uh, Milagros Lacuna. Uh, it, it was really a good turnout of uh, policymakers who want to do the right thing when it comes to preserving, protecting, and defending our, um, our heritage. Very good. And you had a number of, uh, of people here who were uh, dressed uh, at the uh, period uh, uh, garments of uh, the colonial era and the, and the colonial army uh, uh, did a great job. Uh, one was Mike Grill, I had a great talk with, who played the role of General Washington. Why is that so important, that living history, to tell a story of, of the events of that era? I think the key to having reenactors is because, as you are well aware, we had the White Plains High School Marching Band here, and they performed for well over 40 minutes a number of patriotic tunes. And their brothers, their younger brothers and sisters, their parents were here. In other words, the number of families that were here today and being able to go and walk through the war, a revolutionary war encampment that we had here. And yes, brushing up against George Washington. Maybe that experience, that opportunity of uh, seeing living history, that's going to uh, maybe just, if it allows just one child or one adult to say, you know what, I got to know more. I got to learn more about uh, uh, the United States of America and its heritage then uh, we've accomplished our mission here today. You've accomplished a lot. Tell us uh, about some of the other events of the White Plains Historical Society. 
Well, what will be coming up in February of 2019, uh, uh, Sunday, again, just before uh, Washington's birthday, but again, whiteplainshistory.org, our website will have the precise date. Uh, we will have a ceremony, again, uh, honoring uh, George Washington's uh, birthday, and we will have a historian on, uh, on the site that day to give a uh, talk on a, a key topic of the American Revolution, or we may even change it up. We may have something completely different, but uh, that is always well attended in February. And uh, we also will be participating in Pathways, uh, an event that takes place around Father's Day weekend, and as well as Columbus Day weekend, where we do open up this 1730 farmhouse to the public so they can walk along the floorboards that uh, George Washington did, uh, Lafayette, possibly Alexander Hamilton, and uh, others, uh, founding fathers. Very good. Great job with telling the story of America's first veterans here in White Plains, a battle that was fought here in October of 1776. It was so important to American history. Great to see you. Great seeing you, Ken. Thank you very much. Our pleasure. This is Ken Kratzer for Sons of American Legion, Radio and RallyPoint.com in White Plains, New York.